Hi everybody, I am Nofal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss regarding Sheehan syndrome. Okay, so in normal delivery, the expected blood loss is 500 ml. In a normal delivery, the expected blood loss is 500 ml that is half liter. In cesarean section, it is 1 liter that is 1000 ml. So, Sheehan syndrome is occur as a complication of delivery is occurring as a complication of delivery during postnatal period excessive bleeding is there than the expected blood loss excessive bleeding is there than the expected blood loss in a normal delivery it is 500 ml and in the cesarean section it is 1000 ml more than that the bleeding is there during the postnatal period what will happen blood will be less the blood supply will be less to all organs including pituitary gland so we know pituitary gland is the master gland it is the master gland for the working of the thyroid gland or for the working of the adrenal gland and regarding the release of the ovary and all the help of the pituitary gland is required for working for the secretion of the hormone for the production of the hormone sufficient amount of blood is required for pituitary gland but in Sheehan syndrome as I told the blood supply will be very less to all organs including pituitary gland also so due to decreased blood supply to the pituitary gland it will leads to hypopituitarism due to excessive blood loss during the pregnancy it will lead to hypopituitarism because pituitary gland required sufficient amount of blood to secrete the hormones so due to Sheehan syndrome it will lead to hypopituitarism okay so you have to keep it in mind this disease is occurring as a complication of delivery related to the pregnancy and delivery only Sheehan syndrome is occurring okay so in the name itself you can see she hands only to she not to he only to the woman it will occur not to males in the female only it is occurring so she hands syndrome similar to she hands syndrome one more thing is there that is Simmons disease Simmons disease rarely for your exam from Simmons disease is also the question they are asking only the thing you have to keep it in mind Simmons disease also it will lead to hypopituitarism if you are seeing Sheehan syndrome or Simmons disease it is leading to hypopituitarism clear that's all regarding Sheehan syndrome we will meet soon with another video till that time thank you and goodbye